Hey, my name is Roxy Sinner, and you're watching Out East Podcast. <laughs> What up, world? I'm excited to be here at the Out East Podcast. I'm joined by some of my good friends. We got a lovely lineup today, but before we get into that, I want to shout out Poppin' Snacks for having us out here. Come check them out on Orange Blossom Trail, and also Flavor Vaporizer for sponsoring this podcast today. Appreciate y'all. Before we get into it, got to announce our special guest here. We got some some returning hosts and some regular favorites, but first and foremost, my, my dog Marco in the house. Everybody makes a noise for Marco one time. <laughs> and then you know him, you love him. This is a wild boy right here, but we love him to death and we're happy to have him. Everybody makes some noise for my boy Hot Hand one time. <laughs> And you might be like, yo, who's this dude introducing our podcast that we never seen before? And That's if you not have, true. No, if you haven't episodes. seen me, you haven't Don't watched all the episodes. Mm. But which yeah. brings me to my next point. This is episode 21. I've been here before, but I'm here again. It's your boy, Mr. 407 Kevin, a.k.a. Kevin Dean, one of the funniest niggas in Orlando. Yeah, I said it about myself. Yeah, I said it about myself, nigga. I'm hilarious. But we're not here for me today. We're here for a very special guest, a very lovely, very sexy guest. I want everybody at home right now, get up off your feet, stand up right now for the very beautiful, the very lovely, the very magnetic Roxy Sinner, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. We lucky and blessed and grateful to have you. I'm like, yo, if I'm going to be 100%, them things is stinging. Off the top, I had to say that. But they dance too, you know. They're talented. Yeah, I'm saying, yo, not everybody knows who you are. Can you tell us uh, why people would know you or why people would be excited that you're on the pod today? Um, yeah. Well, if you're like, you know, if you're like a pro that knows what the fuck she was doing. Ooh. Um, a pro in what? Like, what you do? Football? Like, you a, you an NFL player? No, um, I'm definitely a player. Okay. Not necessarily in the NFL. <laughs> girls um, is players too. Indeed. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. But um, this girl's a player in bed. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. She she, she could play with you. She could play you. <laughs> Boy, it's your pick. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I'm here for that. I just want to let you know, um, as a porn connoisseur, <laughs> as a connoisseur uh, of your of your field, I just want to say I, I'm very thankful for what you do and for just uh, you know just for your league. You know, can I call it a league? Sure. <laughs> you respect sure. the art. It's an art form. You know, like Absolutely. as a stand up comedian, I respect you know ballerinas. I respect baseball players, band members, but you got a very specific art. Not everybody could do your art. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to be honest, I just want to get right into it. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple of questions for you. Go off. Shoot, go crazy. I'm relaxing this part. <laughs> this part, I'm going to relax. Let everybody have Fans of the pod, I hope y'all don't feel like I'm, I'm taking it and running with it. But whenever I see a beautiful uh, person like you, I have some questions that I don't really get to ask a civilian all the time. Yes. So, <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. You, some women are civilians. Some women fuck, but they don't be fucking on a professional level. Yeah. They be having yeah, yeah. sex, but they don't yeah. fuck. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get feel you. like yeah. you fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you get paid for it, when, on your W-2 it says fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Occupation. Yeah, yeah. On your 1099, it says box is fire. Like, so I have to ask. <laughs> Yeah. I hope this isn't. I hope this isn't too out of the box. I hope this isn't too crazy. But okay. it's something that I think about, and I don't know if other niggas think about this when they when they flap it, when they fap it, when they get yeah. into it. I see all different types of nipples on <laughs> on porn. It's a lot of different. There's yeah. big areolas, small yeah. areolas, dark nipples, light nipples. Yo, Michael, <laughs> can you change these for me, bro? <laughs> this guy over here is getting on. He went right into <laughs> it. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. I, I, this is a very think, this is th something I think about, yo. Is there any type of nipple prejudice in the porn industry? Do you think like producers, Loki, directors? That's a good question. <laughs> Great question. You, you see where I was going? That's a good question. You see, I wasn't trying to. Freak it. I was just trying to. No, these no. are things I think about. You but who would ask? Well. <laughs> I can't ask my Sunday school teacher about this. I can't ask Karen in HR. I gotta ask you, because you know. Okay. Okay. Is there is there any type of prejudice of nipples? Do you think some girls are not getting the job because they're like, oh no, not that pepperoni titty. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. This okay. pepperoni titty bitch, she okay. be working. Okay. So it's not necessarily more of like, oh, this director won't book you for, because your nipples are fucking crazy, whatever. It's right. more of the fans. They will lean towards you because, like, oh, they're titty guys, but they're big nipple titty guy okay. or a fucking tiny nipple but like stands the fuck right. out type shit it's there's more like niches for everything right. yeah, yeah yeah but it's more like a it's fan a niche. Niche. it's a niche can I ask yeah, you another yeah. question like if you're like on 
for example, like Pornhub or something like that, and then like you were to go on like Latina sex. First mm. of all, I we we know the. Can you tell people your ethnicity so we know? I'm yes, right. I was born and raised in Syria, and then I migrated to the U.S. Mm. in 2014. 20, free uh, Palestine. Free Palestine. So you hate Mia Khalifa? <laughs> you said? You, you hate Mia Khalifa or you rock with her? I don't hate Mia Khalifa. Okay. I don't rock with her either. Got I'm you. just like, do you, shorty? Is that it's not a political <laughs> it's not a, She's not in the industry. No, nah, she's done. Oh, she's First done? First of all. Second she, of all, she's you, done. She retired. She's out. You don't compete when you don't wow. compare. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay. That's that shade. That's that smoke. So look, real quick, there is a couple questions that I do want to ask just to like get to know you a little bit better, okay. right? But what the first question, just to get the porn question out of the way, like, so you're Arabic, right? Yes. Okay, so if you go on to like a Latina section on like Pornhub or some shit and then you see your videos there, does that like, how does that make you feel? That irritates the fuck out of me. I'm sorry. Really? really? It's, yes, it's bro. Arab porn makes yeah. so much more money. What the yeah. fuck? First of all, second of all, why on my very second scene, I'm shooting the bang bus. I love Bang Bros. And they kind of just did it to fuck with me. But the whole, like, in the intro, majority of the intro is me arguing with the cameraman. He's like, you're Latina. No, I'm Arab, bitch. No, you're Latina. No, bro. Like, y'all was hard on. Yes, yes. And afterwards, we, like, kind of laughed and joked about it. But don't don't do that. Like, it would sell. Say Arab, bro. There's no Arab bitches in this bitch. That was my question. I was like, do you think they have a larger market for, like, a Latina? Yeah. uh, I thought it would be, like, you're expanding your markets by by joining both sides. I mean, that's cool, but I... I want to be claimed as Arab. Yeah, I, I get there's you. plenty of Latina girls, bro. Why the oh, fuck yeah, you gotta absolutely. label me as Latina? Let's fuck. I personally lean into the Arab shit, bro. Like sometimes that category, <laughs> that category go crazy, and yeah. they don't. I feel like they don't have enough representation. They no, do. They do absolutely. a lot of the Desi. I'm stepping. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you you doing it for them? Thank you. I appreciate you. The God. Desi. <laughs> you, you, you ever category. see them Desi porn? Sometimes they go. They lean in strong into the Indian shit. Yeah. And they have like the sorry these like, shit. These are like Indian couples <laughs> in India. Yeah, like and that's like, cool. in their bathroom. Like that's a cool on a Monday, nigga. But it's a Saturday <laughs> night, nigga. I'm trying to, get, like, trying to get crazy. I'm not trying to watch. To Desi on Saturday. <laughs> Shout out to my Desi people out there, y'all. What is that? Do you know what does that mean? What? Can you educate me? What is Desi? I don't know. What that even means. I know, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like I, oh, I see the cat. Oh, I'm not. I'm by far not. An I just don't know what it means. Yeah. Do you know what that means? No, I think it's a type of Indian. Like, it's yeah, a type I'm of. Sure it's all right, like, let's get. Uh, let's let's talk. You got about Indian and then Desi. Yeah, the sub- I don't know what it means. No, it's I don't like think it means at all. So like, I, you'll see it in a caption. Kevin knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Desi girl gone I crazy. Think, yeah, I think it's like a cultural thing. I don't even think it's a porn term. That's some XNX kind of. shit. Yeah. It's like some like, like XNX nigga too. Nah, 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 don't touch me. Oh, this girl watch the pod. This girl watch the pod. don't touch me. But no, no, no. I would say, I would say, I would say, not nah. I can't say what I watch. And it's not X and XX, I just can't get a sign up because it's too far. The thing is, it's no one of those asked you. You, you, you. you put that out there. Like, you asked me, was it? You just tried to dab me. I asked you when I wasn't. Okay, that's fair. That's okay, fair, okay. That's oh, like, I would say, but it's just one of those that's like underground and you don't want like to get You, you don't want the market to be saturated. Too not like nothing like that's like stealing content though because we're not mm-hmm. here. Too much that. traffic? Of course not. We don't steal content around here. Let me ask you, do you do, you do OnlyFans too? Or do yeah. You, okay. That's how I started. Got you. And is there like... All right, so this is kind of a loaded question. Is there a progression or a graduation? In my small town, I grew up in St. Cloud, uh, the progression was a girl was a cheerleader, then she got a job at Wing House, then she got a job uh, being a bottle girl at a club, then she became a stripper, and then she's a full-on OnlyFans girl, and then she's a porn star. Okay. Is that the natural progression of all porn stars, or do you think people go different routes? No, a lot of people go different routes. Some people join straight into the, like, company porn, no OnlyFans, Mm -hmm. and then they make OnlyFans. I started out doing just solo content on OnlyFans, like, the first year. Then a year after that, I found out people collaborate and fuck, but Mm -hmm. only on OnlyFans. They don't do company porn yeah and i would start shooting with them and they keep talking oh and being on set being on set what the fuck are you talking about right i found out and then i joined being on set so that's mm-hmm. that was my transitional yeah being on set i hope i'm not running the mic too much but i do have another question uh kind of along that topic do you feel like as a professional sex worker somebody who gets paid to have sex that it uh sa- it saturates or it nullifies regular sex in your personal life do you feel like uh those two things get conflated at all not necessarily because i do all different types of genres so it's Mm. not like oh my god i only do rough sex and the civilians come on me trying to make love to me gotcha but um i just in general altogether struggle with having personal sex with dating not even just dating like just regular sex like i don't even want to date 
I just want sex. I I off you. camera sex. Because on camera sex is just a performance. Like right, you're right. not actually you're actually fucking, obviously, but you're but not it's like there's directors and, and well, cameras. Well, it's not even it's teams. not yeah, you have to like open always open up the sex to the camera. So the penetration always has to be visible. I don't care how fucking uncomfortable and how much you don't enjoy the sex. Right. That's that's what you're here to do. Your face also, like you have to face like certain ways to where the light is hitting you right like it's just it's it's a performance I'm sorry this is interesting fuck can we open some chips or something nigga I feel like <laughs> yeah. I feel like no. snacking while I'm listening to this shit what is yeah. what is this I got a personal question too uh, yeah please hey yo I hope my breath isn't crazy after this <laughs> I just wanna uh, shout out to no, Poppin' Sacks one more time we got some crunchy Cheetos uh, just like off top though real quick like you have like relationships within that too with like them. I'm when I say relationship, because it's like oh, it's just sex with other male actors. No, like not just with other male actors, but like when so Kev was originally talking about like having sex on camera mm -hmm. and then having sex like off camera, and then you're like, I just want sex. So after that, like, is there like relationships in any other degree on the just want sex part? Like any like feelings caught? That's what I'm trying to not say. Not really. From just it. more of a fuck buddy since type it, of since, situation. Since you've been in the uh, industry type shit. Before I was in the, the reason I joined the industry is because I was sending out so much nudes and having so much sex for free. But I'm, it's not like, like even when I first got in the industry, I was only doing solo. So I was still having sex for free, but I had all these nudes to send out for free. So I started selling them. This makes kind me of. bring up so many follow-up questions. Every time <laughs> right. I say something, I got Go another ahead. question. Go yeah. off. Run it. Well, yo, I, I, I get there in a second. But let me ask you this. All right. So do you ever in your in your life pay for something that's expensive and you'd be like, man, I wish I could have just fucked for this. Have you ever had like a moment where you're like, damn, this vacuum is $500? I would rather suck a nigga's dick and have him buy me this vacuum than no. pay for it with my own money. No. That's never no. happened. No. <laughs> that's never happened. The thing is though, is it's not like, um, oh, I get this amount of money just for now and that's it. Mm -hmm. It's like a video I made three years ago when I first started, I'm still making money off of it Residuals. today. Yeah. So shit. it's there's it's never stopping. Whatever, yeah. like, I don't I don't feel like I have to, oh, shit, let me go suck some dick so I can buy whatever the fuck I want or have the money I need it today. I, it's bitch, passive just income. Go right. deposit the shit from OnlyFans. Right. But there's never been anything you, you were like, man, I don't want to spend my own money on this. I'll I'd rather get some other nigga to buy me this. No, well... Not really, no. Okay. No, I just spend that shit. You be going out to dinners and paying for shit? Yeah. I don't wait for nobody. I love that about I you. I go That's by good. myself. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Yeah. What's up with the business with this shit? Like, how has, like, the industry been treating you since you got into it? I ain't even gonna lie. They not fucking with me for real. For what, what you mean? I feel like I'm not getting promoted. Getting you know what's the, crazy? I feel like I see promoted, you all though. over the place. You promoted? I'm not getting the acknowledgement that I should be getting. To be because fair. you're not fucking baby alien. Like you you got to fuck that baby alien nigga. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's how everybody got to pay no, their dues in the no, industry. No. If you fuck baby alien, you, you going off, nigga. <laughs> He's like the industry plant. Type yeah. You gotta like, baby the how, alien. How serious are you about this? <laughs> Listen, if I really want to go off, just one hit job scene. That's all I need. That's all you got. Wait, let me ask you this: Would you fuck like a midget at all? Mm. Yeah. Wait, really is he considered like a midget? Is he a midget? I don't that know. nigga's something different. I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that nigga's an X. -Men. He's a mutation of some sort. That nigga's an X Men or some <laughs> shit. Speaking of the the hijab, is that a deal breaker for you? You wouldn't no, do that at all. Oh, okay, okay. I had to put it no in my bio sex. because literally I get harassed for it. You're like that's why is that such a taboo? Like something that people want. So because the more you can't do something, the more you want to do it. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. The more, more taboo, you, it's not allowed. The more yeah, you yeah, would, yeah. I guess, like actively want to do it. Yeah. It'll pay you like more for that. Yeah, it's like, like kink sex. I wouldn't even though? do it for a company. I would never do it for a company. I wouldn't. It's like anal. I would never do anal for a company. What? That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. From a point. So like, on like company sex. So like, is Bang Bros and Brazzers yeah, yeah. becoming like yeah. this like obsolete type company? Is everyone kind of veering away from like these major corporations? Everyone's going independent and porn. Yeah, exactly. If you're going like <laughs> they independent, fucking, they say you're fucking three sixty. And not really. Like for example, I do porn to Correct. promote myself. All yeah. the, like there's like five checks in my in my wallet right now, mm. not deposited from the past two three weeks. I don't even think of them because Less I Robert. do porn be for the promotion. So because I'm always on Brazzers website, I'm always getting traffic to my shit because Brazzers is a big name. I don't necessarily need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but because you did that one scene me. X time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And the more companies you shoot for, the more like diverse your fan base becomes because mm -hmm. you're shooting for different type of sites, shit like that. Mm -hmm. What's but, it? Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, I, I've been talking. 
Um, now nah, I was just gonna say, um, I was just gonna say, like, what was it like, like that jump from like the day you said that you used to just drop like solo content? Yeah, Where did you used solo. to put that out at? OnlyFans. Just OnlyFans straight up. So like, what was the jump? Yeah, we're trying to feel like when I'm trying to like. How did it go? Yeah, like what was the jump? So like, how did you start off? Like, tell us about like your humble beginnings. You got reached out okay, I got to. You, I got you. We want to know yes. about your yeah, humble yeah, beginnings. I got you. I got you. Humble so beginnings. I started out, um, I was still in high school when I started out, but I was 18. Okay. okay. And I started out because I had so much demand. Um, let me actually rewind. I used to get bullied both in Syria and when I moved here, and I got bullied more when I moved here. Bullied for what? Let me pop Not speaking up. English. I was ugly. It was just too much. So much going on. And then people here, like kids in general, they're just... Not to deep dive into trauma or anything. Mm. But we you want to trauma dump right quick? <laughs> yeah, not to deep dive into trauma. Hey, yo, keep them glasses like, on, nigga. <laughs> that shit was crazy. No, Don't take them glasses oh. off again, nigga. Also, keep in mind, I came in 2014. When did 9 11 happen? 2011. Oh, oh shit. 2011. I almost said 2011. It was 2001, nigga. Oh, wait. That's yeah. No, no. <laughs> that was three years ago. I literally said 2011. <laughs> I mean, too. Wow, you got me. right there. To them, that was fresh. Because yeah. the way we they you still, like, me memorize. Yeah. 2011. <laughs> the way they still remember that shit today, like, it just happened yesterday, is crazy. So, well, to them, like, forget. she's Arab, she doesn't <laughs> speak English, forget. she's ugly, and it was just all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, well, yeah, I got. So, you had a glow up then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a. Fucking glow up. Ow. Yeah. You wanna see a picture? You should oh, yeah. like edit, edit the video of like glow With up the pictures. Horse. No, that ass, I'll send you that shit. You better show us before Crazy. pictures. I'll show you the before the pictures. Before's. I just gotta say phone like on a everything. Strong ass uh, unibrow. <laughs> like, yeah. The um, eyebrows was crazy and shit. Uh, damn near, to be frank. You think it's gonna be eyebrows? I think it's gonna be eyebrows. Yeah, I, Arabic The nations, thing is about me sure. is that I could always see the potential of a pretty girl. I like. I don't even believe in ugly You're women. Even investment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even back in the day. No, I just see some insane growth. Bro. I see. Like, a, I've never thought that would go up. I see an ugly girl and I'm like, oh, I could work with that. Because my favorite movie growing up was She's All That. So I was like, oh, okay, if they could do it for her, they could do it for anybody. I wasn't hella ugly, but to, those kids, yeah, but to those girl. kids, but to those kids, I was. You definitely have potential. The, to the kids, you I had was. potential. You know, it wasn't. Yeah. A, no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. crazy. We up here looking at a picture. To the people, like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. To the people who aren't seeing we this, we can work with that. <laughs> to the people who aren't seeing it, it's not an eyebrow or anything crazy. No, no, She's no, like a regular girl. She just yeah didn't grow. She wasn't a bad bitch. She was nine. She was nine. Exactly. I was ethnic. Nine. And I was at pitch perfect for these little fuck ass kids. Yeah. Long story short, glue up, started being more like open with my body and stuff. What made you glow um, up? What made me glow up? Mm hmm. What made you want to glow up? That's what I'm looking for. Was it natural? All the bullying? Damn. Yeah. What age do you think you, let me ask you this, what age do you think you glow up? In my junior glue year of crazy. high school. So 17. 17. 17? Yeah. Uh, it took me a little minute. Side note, are those titties real or uh, that, that's a natural <laughs> oh, titty? No, yeah. that matters for the glow up. Of course. It's those are 100%. Titty. So does that have uh, anything to do with the glow up? You like you developed and you got titties? No, I had the titties before. Like I had the titties before I moved here to the That's US. crazy that people were bullying and not fucking with you and you had titties. And I had titties. I was always the nice nigga in school. Tripping. Like I would check, fuck? I would look for the ugly girls with the big titties and be like, yo. Don't Potential. Tell them, don't tell nobody we go out, but <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Dairy Queen. Don't you text you and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just crazy. Okay, cool. But um, yeah, I started glowing up. I would be more open with my body on social media. I think my Instagram had like 5K. People started demanding for a premium snap. And mm -hmm. then I did that for like a week and a half. I made two bands off of it, and I thought I was a rich fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah. when you 17, 18? Yeah, absolutely. yeah, I was yeah. rich, boy. What yeah. the fuck? You got two bands right now. Yeah, you up. Bro, what? So I stopped doing it, and then... um. Maybe like two months. Let me ask you later. this: How long did it take you to get that two bands? That's a great one week, question. like a week and a half. One week? Yes. It took you a week to make yes, two bands. Were you seventeen, eighteen? That's big money. Off of yes, just uh, Snapchat and shit. You. Yes, off just That's Snapchat. Great. I would like to act like I would be a nigga who would have bought it, but I would have. You would have got me jammed up. I would have bought my <laughs> shit. How much was it? It's thirty a month. Oh yeah, I got thirty. Yeah, she started taxing off rent. Yeah, I got the thirty. Thirty a month. What's up? I'm saying. That's crazy oh numbers. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, do crazy calculate numbers. that. Calculate 30? that shit. Cause I let, let me ask you people. this. Let me let me just That's say this. A lot this. of folks, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like Thirty folks. for sure. You definitely got to think about that. For sure. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Me. And you made two bands. That's, That's a lot of high school spent, bullies that we're trying to fucking holla at you for real. I spent thirty dollars on a premium milkshake at Drive Shack, nigga. The least I could do is see a pair of natural titties. Premium titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I thought to myself like right now, I'm about to like just sell dick on Snapchat. And this is gonna be my premium snap. It mm -hmm. probably wouldn't be more than like five or ten bucks. 
Yeah, yeah. For the first time, because you got to make a couple dollars. You don't believe in yourself. She started off 30 a month off of risk. That's crazy numbers. think about it. But that's a dollar a day. Yeah. The fuck? That's content. No, it's not bad. Every day. I'm not, no, I'm not saying it's bad for you. It's just people got to think about spending thirty dollars. Well, yes, don't and you I will still? Say, I know but also, you got to make it work. Some kids back in the day like they got money like that either. No, 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 don't get me wrong. Yes, yes, especially for me because I've done that scam. was their lunch money. I scammed them people. Yeah. But I you got to think, think you, you, you don't expect to get two bands. You like, oh, yo, no. four people yes. buy this. I made one hundred twenty dollars. Yes. Do you think? Yes. Do you think your yes. snap was worth it at that time? No, because it was on actual Snapchat, and the reason I stopped it is because I had to log in my snap, log in the fake snap. Log out, log back All in. All right, cool. So, ladies, we got Roxy Center on the podcast today, okay? She's going to break down and give us some good game of how to make your fucking shit worth it. The business side. If you want $30 <laughs> for your OF, ladies, listen up and pay attention. Roxy. Oh, shit. Okay. So, yeah. Does. Hold on. So, yeah, I did that shit for like a week and a half, and then I got approached by a guy on Instagram who also lived in, in, in Orlando, and he asked me, to start our OnlyFans. I didn't even know what the fuck OnlyFans was. And then started the OnlyFans. He was managing me, getting me hella fucking promotion. I was all over Wall Star and all the meme pages. That's what's up. Let me tied you up. Yeah. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah, manager. Then, Wall Star. He tied you up. For sure. He got to, uh, he had to dick you down to get that promotion. No. Thankfully. Oh. I never met him. So this oh, day I dope. never met him. Never met him. You never you never had none of these niggas that were like, yo, I'm gonna elevate your career, but first I gotta get some. That's not a thing? No. Okay, good. That's I'm good. I'm so glad. It that might be how to be a thing. thing. Yeah. I, that, it might be a thing, but it's not so direct. Yeah. They make it to where like, oh yeah, let's link up, and then they'll try to fuck you at the yeah, link up yeah, or some yeah, shit yeah. like that. That's a Kevin move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it. I want to do that. <laughs> so yeah. And yeah, he became my manager. Took over from then. There's a lot of uh, straight, like, on-the-level managers, and I like that. I think there's a lot of people who are doing right by these people. About business. Yeah, but a lot of niggas are, are nasty niggas, like, behind the scenes. They're like, hey, yo, I'm going to do, do X, Y, and Z for you, but really they're just trying to get wine. I'll be your handler. Here. Yeah, yeah, We got to make right, though, on the first, you know, the first bid. Are you interested in doing any, like, real acting or, like, movies? Uh, you know, very like ironically, I wanted to be an actress sure. when I first moved to the U.S., and then I wiped it out of my head. I was well, like, that's every porn star's dream for I better real. Say, like, in a if I could be is. on camera and keep my clothes on, I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually prefer it with my clothes off. I okay. Don't lie. But yeah. um, maybe, I mean, maybe for, like, some type of, like, a comedy movie. I don't think I could do anything serious, serious. I don't know if you know, but I do comedy, so, I mean. <laughs> hey, bridge. <laughs> if you ever want to be in a movie. Movie, maybe you hear hey, people hey, talk hey, to hey, my mama. people. Okay, like, I'm bad. Uh, come on down. <laughs> bad, bad. So, like, with the um, so like, do you have favorite people to shoot with? A few, yeah. Like, um, any notable mentions that you may just want to shout out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out um, Manuel Ferreira. Shout out Ricky Johnson. Shout out Isaiah Maxwell. Mm. Johnny Sins. These niggas sound like they got big speed. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> you know when niggas is crazy, no. dog. Who the fuck is that, bro? Pause. Yo, pause. You know niggas <laughs> talk <like> that. <laughs> yo, that what you get for talking behind the camera. He's yo, like, yo, shout, shout out Irving up. Huggies. What time? Who, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck you relax that? with that, nigga? <laughs> Did he say Ty Wing? <laughs> See, I hear shout out big dick niggas, yo. Why you, why you co-signing that? that, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Yo, pause. Oh, my God. Do you have any any uh, <laughs> co-stars that you didn't like working with, or that uh, wasn't it for you? Yeah, you don't have to shout out those names. I just yeah, ask yeah, yeah, there's a few. Let me ask you a question. Um, do you have you ever fucked fat niggas in videos and content, or have you fucked fat niggas in civilian life? Both. Both. Uh, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that answer out here. Let me ask you: If somebody approaches you at a bar or a club, let's say you're in downtown Orlando, you diddy bopping, and he's a little bit overweight. But he's confident, he's cool, he got his shit together. What is your first thought when uh, when dude approaches you? Um, the confident level, it just depends on how confident. Is he cocky? Cause that's is where it delirious? It's or the, or is it... Yeah, yeah, it's the approach for <laughs> me. It's not line. even like the look. Because the look plays, like the approach plays into the look. I actually, I went too far. Let me ask you this before I even get into that. What's your type? What's your type of dude? I don't have a type. You don't have a type? Do you feel like uh, because you do this professional thing and some people recognize you that people more might be more intimidated to holler at you like in regular life? No, actually, it's the opposite. They'd be so bold. Really? Be so bold. Do you like that or you hate that? It depends on how bold they get. But 
I have a tendency for some fucking reason. Every Halloween, every Halloween, these motherfuckers rip the fucking earth out and they come and hunt for me. Really? And I get recognized the most out of the entire fucking year on Halloween. Do you ironically, dress up? I was about to say, ironically, the time that I fucking dress up, right. which I'm not looking about like myself, but um, yeah, those that that fucking one day of the year, people all different types. Some people be coming up nice as fuck, girls, couples, shit like that. Yeah, so and some people would just be disrespectful. Have you ever got like recognized like in a place that's like, don't tell people like, <laughs> right, right, this is not else? the place to know me. <laughs> yeah, this is not the place to know church? me. Church? You, you, you gonna come up me. to me at church? I, was yeah. honest, I don't, don't even think me. I be in those places yeah. myself, so fuck it. <laughs> So you have Mall of Millennia, and someone's like, oh my God, I love your shit. And then like old people are like, well, what does she do? Like, yeah. you, what do you feel <laughs> well, like? She's an well, actress. They've never said it that loud. But okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. People are like respectful when they yeah, come yeah, up yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah, majority of the time. Majority. For the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. I think that a lot of guys would want to know this. Uh, if somebody wanted to approach you, how would you like to be approached, or how would you like to be courted um, if someone was trying to get at you? So I actually just had a situation like that in New York. Okay. Um, I was at a club or I was at a bar and this guy knew who I was, but he came and approached me and was chit-chatting with me because I had my camera on my neck and he's a photographer. So we had that in common. Mutual interest. Yeah. So he waits until like 25, 30 minutes into us chit-chatting and then he's like, oh yeah, I lied by the way. I know and I'm who like, you are. oh, what did it's you weird. lie about? And he was like, yeah, I knew who you were the whole time. And I'm sitting here like, it's not... It's just not cool. That's the one thing I need you to point out ASAP. Yeah. And you don't have to sit here and be fanned out and do all of that extra shit, but just acknowledge it because I don't know what your fucking intentions are. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. It, it can be the best of fucking intentions. You can have the biggest fucking plan that you want to pre present to me, right? I don't give a fuck. Right. Tell me that you know who I am. So now I know that, okay, you know what I do. You know I'll be busting pussy on the internet. Yeah. And it's not just like, a, you know, I'm meeting this pretty girl or whatever. I'm trying to talk to her. Well, do you feel like that might be a deal breaker? Like if somebody knows who I am, now I'm going to... I feel a little bit more guarded because you've seen my pussy on the internet. Like Not necessarily more guarded because you've seen it on... It's more Does like... Does that make you feel like more free? You said? Like, like more, more liberated? Free or more liberated? Yeah. That's a good it's yeah. just... It's more of like... They're going to think automatically that I want to fuck them or I would fuck them because I'm fucking on the internet. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Or they might try to have like malicious intentions yeah. for afterwards or some shit like that that I'm like, oh. What's your... What's your... Go ahead. No, 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 no. no I, nigga. I was going to ask you like, what's your day-to-day -day look like? Like a regular day-to-day -day. To be honest, it's, it's, it, I can't give you an answer. I'm on a location. flight every other day. It's different city, different state, different shit to do. When I'm home, I'm in the house. I'm in my bed. Not even in bed. Nowhere. So it's just different. It's just different. Have you had uh, issues like trying to pursue a serious relationship? And then I feel like this, the the natural inkling is that dudes are going to be jealous or Fuck insecure that shit. about that. Fuck that shit. I know people that aren't even in porn yeah. and their fucking relationships not surviving. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I don't want no relationship with this generation. Okay. So you don't want relationships. Okay. I cool. can't even get fuck buddies. To, you to can be or you can't? I can. They're not willing to get tested. And oh, okay. I live right there to the testing what? facility. Is that is that your only requirement? Yeah, that's my main requirement. Oh, okay. So so if I get tested like after this interview, like what's good? Like we <laughs> 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 you miss all the shots in life you don't take, fellas. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. <laughs> I'm just playing, baby. I'm just making content out here. So let me ask you this. <clears throat> so when you join the industry and whatnot, you have friends still here in Orlando, right? Yeah. Have you tried to persuade them into the industry no. as well? No. Okay. Do they, they, they know they, what you I've do I've had and one friend. She saw how I was doing and she how She probed. I and she, a year... A year and a half after I was mm. like in the business, she decided to join, but then she left. She fizzled. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't press it. Down. If anything, I actually don't recommend people to do it. It's not for everybody. It's, it's not for everybody, and yeah, a lot of people don't realize that it's literally a performance. It's you're a not. Job. It's not. Yeah, you're not sitting there just to fucking fuck. If anything, mm -hmm. we always have off-camera sex afterwards because we were horny and we didn't get to actually enjoy the sex. Mm -hmm. Really, so. delve into that. That's something <laughs> I don't think niggas do. Not everybody. I will say that it's more like if you know the person, you have chemistry with them type shit. So you just put on this performance. Everyone's like, all right, yeah, move that to the side. Okay, open up. Yeah, yeah, uh, literally, uh, literally. Project like a little bit more, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. after that's all done, then you like, hey, you want to go into this other room and, and have a real session? More like we leave set and we'll go either to my Airbnb or their house or whatever the fuck. Do you have to go through the whole protocol of like, let's go get drinks and make this like an actual date? Fuck. You're lucky we're not <laughs> fucking in the, the car, bro. What the fuck? Shit, bro. Word. Damn. So, yo, these porn niggas is living the dream on and off camera. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a job to not, I would imagine, though. It's not just like, oh, we fucking bitches. Yeah. Like, you, you have to actually, let like, me ask, the come on command type shit. Let me ask you, yeah. do you think you would get tired of it as a porn star to be, like, would sex, you get bored of you sex? You get numb to sex. Star. You get numb to sex. You sex get, becomes a job. Okay. That's what I would assume would be like. Yeah. What do you think it becomes a job? When you get paid or like when you have to do it all the time? You have to come on command. Because as a nigga who fucks all the time, I don't ever. <laughs> don't count all the time. In case y'all doubt this. As a nigga who be fucking. Nah, I feel like. Do like, niggas you, really. Yo, do, do men really have to come on command? Like yeah. literally, no, I say like now, is, now you have to, to come on command. Right now. You know, there's only about a handful of men in this industry that don't use a injection shot. I've heard this, yeah. Into mm -hmm. their dicks. Mm -hmm. To get hard and, and then to get to, soft to as get well. To get soft again, yeah. 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 It's like an they do that or... like right there, like while you're yeah, out. Right so not like, wait, so not yeah, like 10 like minutes before they got no, there no, type shit. No, 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 no. They'll do it on set after you shoot the intro and everything. Mm -hmm. Once you need the sex part to happen, go shoot that shit up. Because mm -hmm. 10 minutes and it's going to be up and it's going to get running. I've heard that for real. It's, it, no, sometimes it's a also, job. It's not. It's yeah, not just yeah, yeah. fun and games. Yeah, 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 it's a living yeah. profession. Yeah. And sometimes, like depending on how much pressure there is on the male talent and stuff, they'll fake the cum shot. In the hand, right? No. Oh, I've heard how that. How do they fake it? Well, it's like some like some like. No, uh, so they'll get the lube. Tricks? It's white lube. Um, actually, it depends on what kind of. So if it's like a cream pie, for example, they'll. Um, so say for I'm I'm in doggy or I'm a missionary, they'll. Um, and it's about to come, so we'll talk like, "Oh, I'm he's I'm about to come. Oh, come for me, da da da." And then they'll pan to my face. He'll pull his dick out. They have a big syringe with um, like white lube in it. Marshmallow inject stuff. it in my inject it in my pussy real quick, mm -hmm. and it's like more on the edge so that it can gush out. And then they'll pan right back to my pussy. Of his, he'll put his dick barely back in, and then just get the shot of him pulling out. And oh, he. It's he all came. games. It's all magic yeah. tricks. If it's um, it's an illusion. if it's um, no. If it's a fucking um, like a cum, like a face cum shot, I don't remember the exact transition that we use because I haven't done that in a really long time. But they use um, fuck, it's a face wash and it looks like cum. It's movie Seraphil, magic. Though. Some shit like that, yeah. And they just. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like edible. You can like you can no, you don't want to. Not the face wash. I mean, the lube is, but gotcha, not the face gotcha, wash. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. Let me. This is a completely random question. What has been like? What has been your favorite scenario or scene to play pre-porn? Like before you getting into the fucking like a pizza nigga come into the house or you're like, <laughs> <laughs> what's the perfect like? No, but yeah, is that ever the fun? Have you ever been like, yeah. like, oh, I'm a I'm a maid. I'm coming over. Like, had, what's been your favorite? No, I had a I had a, a pie fight with a girl one time. We were selling pies and we're like competing against each other. And I start with fucking throwing pies on, and we're yeah. like literally fucking with pie. That was the time I realized that sugar gives you yeast infections, and I never. Oh that again. shit, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you had pies, and then you yeah. got green what? pies. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. literally. <laughs> literally. Wow. I got yeah. ask porn questions all day. Yo. Let's do it. <laughs> Dope. By all means, y'all going, hey, y'all going so hard. I, this is like the least I've ever spoken on the pod. I'm just enjoying y'all. I'm just Kevin's enjoying. Intrigued. I'm enjoying Kev and Roxy's like um, interaction with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, it's, almost, it's almost a little intercourse like you could say I don't no one else okay cool alright fuck me okay cool <laughs> um yo Roger let me ask you you said you're from Orlando right yeah so like we got this thing called home games yeah, we call it home games or whatever that's just like what we always tend to always like let it like take girls to in the city cause there's like so many cool little restaurants cool little things to check out any like restaurants that you think is dope out here Around here in the area? What's your home game? Bro, I have not been in the city for the past two years, bro. I feel, like you have, you, you, I feel like you have... You know what's up, though. No. Y'all don't explain home Ooh. games to the audience the way that y'all think y'all be getting you it gotta, off, You got to know what's up. Where do you like to go? Go to Hawkers Street, Agent... Bro. Mills. Hawkers. No, I feel like any place in Mills oh. is a hit, no matter what. Hey, Mills is a home game. Absolutely. Y'all can't see the producer Mills right now, but that nigga is standing up. He loves Hawkers. Yo, I love Hawkers, too. I no, love yeah. Hawkers, bro. Oh, the menu's God, kind of intimidating, yeah. though. There's too many, on Asian, the too many Asian like dishes that you got to be like using all these different kind of words and whatnot. Like, I want to just bro. read... Yo, you out here. Just you point being, at You being uh, xenophobic. Exactly. Stop Asian hate, my nigga. It's like dim sum. What is dim sum? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Low Just call that shit noodles, nigga. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I like Whatever Hawkers. Sauce. Hawkers uh, is cool if you uh, if you're not trying to impress too hard. I feel like Tori Tori is the next level up. Yeah, Tori Tori is where classic. you go absolutely. to show her like, Tori hey, I'm Tori, serious the about modern, you. absolutely. Mm. King Bao, Taco China. Like, I feel like all those right three, like those four, just hit. No, no bro, I need to fucking eat, bro. Take me to Hawkers, bro. Take Do you feel Hawkers. like there's a? Um, What's your favorite food there? Mm. Uh, the the barbecue. Pork bao buns. Mm. What are buns. they called? Bao buns. Yes. Bao buns? Oh, oh, the bao, bao buns. buns. Yeah. 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 Regardless, bro, like the sweet the and the savory, fun. it just hits nah, regardless. Nah, it's good. Anything well, pork belly King related. Bao. King yeah. Bao hits regardless. Yeah. I love King Bao. Bao Castle, too, used to be the shit back in the day. Do you have any spots downtown that you that you frequent that you like? Like, is there a clubs or bars that you're like... I don't go to I don't go to downtown no more. You go outside like that. You're not outside? Not no more. I live downtown. Okay. Don't go there no more. What do you, uh, you say you stay in the house a lot. What do you do when you're home? I make jewelry. Okay. Um, is that is that the piece you're rocking right now? You made yeah, that? Yeah, it is, but this is like nothing. This, this is, is light work? Simple. Yeah, this is nothing. That's not bad at all. That's nice. I get you that from my girl. You did a great job. Stop. That's Don't not bad at all. You did a good job. Okay. You made jewelry? <laughs> Stop. What else? You got little other little um, um, hobbies and stuff? Not really. I be getting a lot of uh, custom videos that I always have to accommodate for, so that's Takes something up a lot of your time. Like, did you go to EDC? I did go to EDC. Tell me about it. That shit, that shit was boring. I ain't gonna lie. I was there for two hours and I fucking left. <laughs> I think yeah, for, real. for a regular civilian, EDC is cool because it's like it's a chance for me to be half naked and dance and be free. Type? But like you're in an industry where you get to be full naked just, all the time. That, so. I'm just more of like a Rolling Loud type of girl. I need. To What's the difference between show. EDC and Rolling Loud in your opinion? EDM music. Rolling Loud is actual performance with you know. Okay. Type shit. Yeah, rappers and shit. Shout out Rolling Loud. Do you do you frequent festivals a lot? No, I don't have time. Okay. You know, I've been trying to move to LA for the past two fucking years, and every time my lease is done, I'm out of town. Really? I'm not able to look for places in time and get my move done, so I've been fucking stuck here. I feel like the the LA move is a cliche, but they be trying to like fuck new people over who are coming there for the first time, like with apartments and shit. Yeah. You, yeah. you have, have you ever gone through that where you're like, oh, I, the I'm apartment. literally going through that right now. They want to know my bank account number, what's my balance is, what's my credit card. Bitch, what the f You want the fucking cash in my wallet too? The yeah. fuck? Yeah. yeah. They, be go they be doing a lot. No, fuck that. And then I'm making six times your rent. I'm sending you four or five months more than you asked me for fucking pay stubs. What the fuck else do you want from me? That brings up a good question. As a person who shoots content, do you feel like without having like the standard W 2 job that you get uh, hassled a lot more because these. Is the money off the books? Is there like a way to show receipts for like what you're question. making? No, no, yeah, the money's all on the books. Okay, all of it. so you have paper, you have receipts and paperwork yeah, to be yeah, like, yeah. hey, yo, this is what I do. I pop yeah. my pussy in 2019. And not to yeah. be like in your like finances and business and shit. We just like to kind of, whenever we talk to different people in different industries, we like yeah, to get yeah, more yeah. into I like feel, the entrepreneurial side of, of the shit. So like, <clears throat> excuse me, I know you do the um the OnlyFans thing. As far as like OnlyFans, like would you say like I know they give you a percent, like what percent are you in? Like you know how they have like the top ten, top five. Why do all the girls say top one percent? Why why is everybody the top one percent? Because the top one percent is a really large percentage. Uh. So like you can be top one percent, but you're not really like oh the top. You have to be zero point zero one to be really the top bitches. Yeah, I knew a fat girl from high school talking about some like yo I'm in the top one percent of OnlyFans, and yeah. I went on her shit. She had like. 18 subscribers. Damn. I was like, yeah, this ain't an accolade. Like, yeah. these bitches. Although, it doesn't really matter. Shout out matter. to fat girls, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't really matter the amount of subscribers you get. It's how much they spend. That's what puts you in that oh, ranking. Okay. It's the amount of money that you're making. Yeah. Do you, uh, is there a benefit of like having a free OnlyFans and putting everything behind a paywall? I don't fucking know. Versus... I don't do that shit. Oh, okay, so you, you charge. How much do you charge for your OnlyFans? I think 10 a month. I think I got that on my phone. I think I got 10 right now on that. Okay. Pull that up. <laughs> it's worth the full 10? It's worth the full 10. <laughs> and then some. So if a nigga had like, I don't know, like 80 for you, like what what could that get me? Is there is there like a... How a much has somebody spent on your OnlyFans? Like that you can remember? Tips included. Like in your DM? Like I know that that's where it go down, right? I mean like my customs will sell for like... 700 for like five to ten minutes. Oh, shit. God so damn. $700? And there's plenty of people who rebuy my customs. So 
Seven hundred dollars for like a video of like one two minute, a minute or two video. No, 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 of like five, maybe ten minutes. Oh, five or ten yeah. minutes. I don't even know Still, what I'm gonna do. Regardless, with, I can't do nothing with ten minutes, nigga. I'm coming in three. This other seven <laughs> minutes, I'm gonna feel like you're gonna save the rest. Buyer's remorse. You I'm say, like, <laughs> you say you had, you say you had ten dollars. You got the seven hundred. Yeah, no, nah, I don't got the seven hundred. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you get uh, approached to do like uh, live shit, like uh, video chat, FaceTime shit? Yeah. You, I, s- I sell them as well. You sell FaceTime? Mm-hmm. Well, what is that compared to like a 10 minute video? How much do you charge for like a FaceTime? Great question. I mean, FaceTimes usually are up to like maybe five, 10 minutes as well. Mm-hmm. Is it very um, like simp to simp? You said? You said, is it very like simp to simp? Like, are you, you, might charge, you might charge this dude like 50. No, no, no. But just based off of his little same. avatar or whatever, you might charge him 200. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. Everybody gets charged the same. Depend. The only thing different is like, so for example, if you wanted a ten minute video, he wanted a ten minute video, but he wanted me to dress. How much up. would you sell me a ten minute video for versus Kev? Damn, I was waiting to hear the rest of that. <laughs> That's how I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking. With you. No, no, no. Go in, go in, go in. Um. Say for his 10 minute video, he wanted me to role play as a fucking prisoner breaking out of prison and fucking my my uh, the officer. Mm. But you just mm-hmm. want me to lay in bed and just just masturbate. Oh, type shit. You would he wants pay, something crazy. Yeah. yeah, you would pay the average rate, he would pay extra. A custom, custom yeah. rate. Do you watch porn at all? No, not anymore. Not at all. So wow. do you uh do you masturbate at all? Yeah. What do you uh what do you get off to? Books. Your mind. Imagine it, y'all. Oh shit, she's a saposexual. <laughs> that's that's cool. <laughs> Do you feel, uh, do you, <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, ask her what she thinks about. <laughs> no, well, I know not, what you think. No, that's not what I'm thinking about at I know all. what you think. What do you think about? No, no, it's completely different. <laughs> well, for me, there are three flattering memories I have in my mind. Um, uh, the first time I did the Orlando Improv stand-up comedy, it's like a holy mecca. The first time that I won a, wi- a writer's award for uh, comedy, and the first time someone told me that uh, they still masturbate to pictures of my uh, my of me back in the day. That was a flattering experience. Someone was like, uh, "Yo, I still get off." Somebody jerks off to you, Ken? Not jerks off, yo. That's crazy. But yes, also I got fans that talking about yo. I just <laughs> well, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I was mad. I was mad when I saw it. My, my message request, nigga, was like, "Yo, I jerk off to all your videos." I was like, "Nigga, get out of here with that shit, oh my bro." God. But this, uh, 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 what the <laughs> fuck? What kind of you asked, you have, bro? I was offended. Fuck? Yo, when you start blowing That's up, people crazy. say the, like the wildest shit to you. Kev, you say the wildest shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do you feel flattered when uh, niggas are like, oh yo, that's that you my shit, yo. Every night I can't I can't finish coming until I watch your shit. Of like, course. that's why, a why wouldn't I get flattered? Of course. Okay, cool. Does that yeah, yeah. does that ever get like? Do you ever get desensitized to that? You ever like to oh, porn? Yeah, obviously. I am to porn, not not to compliments. Okay, I'll cool. never be because I'm always trying to same. upgrade myself. So knowing that it's working and it's going well, yeah. Have I'll you ever won any awards off this porn shit? I don't want none of that shit. That shit's rigged as fuck. Like the yeah, avian, like the avian. Yeah, 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 that shit coming up, and that shit is rigged as fuck. Damn. So you don't think you're gonna get one? Nepotism. I don't really care to get. One. You don't want. I one? want a Pornhub award. That's the. A Pornhub award. Yeah. But I'm not on porn. Like I just got on Pornhub, so I need to get my shit. What do you on. want the award for? Be real. Like give it up right here. Like, I ain't gonna lie. If you get the award, so what do you want it for? Fucking funny, you ask. The award is fuckable. I want to fuck the award. I want to make Fuckable. a solo. What? I want Hold to on, wait, 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 what's the? It's a molecule. I want to say, they say like it's a molecule of sex, but long story, it's a molecule, okay? And there's a part that sticks the fuck out. Actually, majority of it sticks the fuck out. Right. Oh, the word itself yeah, is yeah, yeah. a molecule. It's shaped like a molecule. Oh. Got it. But it, yeah, there's yeah, also yeah. A, like a fuckable part. I'm saying like what's, yeah, the, like, what's the name of the award that you want to get? Fuckable. Pornhub Award. Oh, 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 oh. Um, category. I would say, wait, wait, wait. Category, wait, 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 there we go. The category, yeah, yeah. Best blowjob or whatever. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's what my that's what they love me for. Okay. Best blowjob, best new starlet, best female performer of the year. Everybody, when y'all go to vote for y'all AVN award categories and shit like that this year, y'all keep rocks in your mind, man. I feel like best titties. Uh, you might get oh, that hands down. Too. Yeah, that's. But that's, there's 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 way there's too some much nice titties out there. Too much. Like um, I don't know, Angela man. White, she has been winning best titties in all awards. Tell Angela White, long. I said, sit the fuck down, yo. <laughs> 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 all right. If you ain't Roxy Sinner's titties out here, I don't want to hear about Who you. Angela, Angela White. Angela White. Angela White. And I respect yo. That's that's her people. I need to do respect my research. Hey. No respect. I love. I'm gonna watch your videos tonight, Angela. You definitely do. Yeah. That video. Like the UK or Australia or something like that. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Australian. You ever Australian. be watching other people's videos? I know you say you don't watch porn, but you ever watch somebody else and like, damn, she sucked dick better than me. Oh, or, y'all, nah, her dick game is trash. Yo. I, be, yeah. I would kill that. Yes, because I've been seeing. Her second oh. dick game is trash. <laughs> no, not necessarily trash, but I'll get like, why the fuck was she able to down the whole dick that I just tried to down a couple days ago and I couldn't? Okay, okay, okay. Different gag reflexes, different. Uh, Not even. Throat sizes. Her fucking throat is wider because that shit is thick as fuck. Okay, all right. I was bad. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on set? Because I don't do anal, nothing. But if I was to do anal, I'd probably shot on somebody. Mm. That's like that's every a, girl's, wait, what? every anal girl's story. They always shit, shit on somebody. Mm. Yeah. That'd be so embarrassing. I can see yeah. that. That should happen to me in real life one time. <laughs> I ain't get a check for it neither. You know? oh to me. But yeah. Right. So, you got any, you got any other questions, Kyle? Um, she got tons of questions. Nigga, I could be here for another three yeah. hours of questions, yo. <laughs> don't, yo. Don't leave it up to me. Right, so is there anybody you want to shout out before we get the fuck out of yes. here? Yes. Um, Let us know. Shout out my agent, mm. Ricky Ricky Johnson. Shout out my boy. Shout out Palestine, free fucking Palestine. Facts. Shout out for me. Absolutely. And shout out Hot Hands for having me on here. Hey. <laughs> hey, and then um, what else I was going to say? If Where can we find you at when we looking for you? If, the, if you got a new follower or a new fan or somebody that's cool on here, where can they find you at if they want to jerk it to you? You can find... <laughs> All my socials and all my links at theroxycenter.com. Roxy, R-O-X-I-E, center, S-I-N-N-E-R.com. Check out that Twitter. I looked it up before I got Bro. here. <laughs> oh my God. That shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit was crazy, yo. It was hard for me to, like, not do my research before I got here, but I did it. <laughs> Respectfully, I didn't. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hot Hands. This has been the Out East Podcast. Again, I want to quickly shout out to Papa Snacks for having us. Y'all been saying I've been tearing these up this whole podcast. It's been great. Shout out to Papa Snacks. Shout out to Flavor Vaporizers. Um, once again, shout out to our amazing co host today, Roxy Center. Everybody make some noise for Roxy. You did amazing. Thank you so much for being with us, Roxy. We really appreciate that. Again, shout out to Marco. Shout out to Kev. And I, again, I'm your host, High Hands. This is episode 21 out of Out East Podcast. And we out. Peace.